sure how interesting popping tyres on is. Welcome back. So, today's video is no going back and that's not that I'm making a permanent change, it's that I'm going to use a drone ESC and some drone outrunner motors to see if I can make the kind of like a spider TRX. Uh, uh, this one on a scattergun chassis, uh, a little bit lighter. Now I've already taken out the axe system um, and that axe system weighs, uh, I think it's around 366 grams according to specs, but let's actually give it a proper weight with all the wires on and everything else. 377 grams. Now, the ESC that I'm thinking of using is, I think, around about 26 grams. Probably should have opened the packet before I started. 24 grams. And I've got a choice of two motors. I've got a super tiny motor that, with its mounting plate, weighs. 55 grams or I've got a faster motor nearly twice as fast so this is 2200 kV this one's 3700 kV and that motor is 76 grams plus the mount so we're going to start with the small one um, because hopefully uh, this this tiny little drone motor will get very hot but hopefully this tiny little drone motor will produce less torque uh, and less crunching and, and bashing and crashing into things than this axe um, does. Now the axe doesn't cause me to crash into things. Uh, having fun with the axe causes me to crash into things. Uh, and I've just noticed that this is running, uh, I think it's a three and a half mil pinion and it's also going to be going the wrong way. So I might have to move that motor mount around. So actually, well, yeah, actually that makes the decision for me. We'll go with the big motor, why not? Now, this one is a bit heavier, but feels a lot stronger. I'm just gonna grab a pinion and just see if my pinions still fit because it would be annoying if they didn't. So just grab one and a half mil. Yep, that's great. So straight away a pinion has gone straight onto that. Now I'm trying to turn it, and actually it's an outrunner motor, so I need to hold it in the right way. So that's gonna turn fine. Um, so I guess the soldering iron's probably hot enough now. Let's get into it. Uh, right, so step one is going to be stealing a Dean's plug off um, one of my battery ones. So um, I'm just going to do it in the most brutal way and just chop it off and then cut the heat, heat shrink out. Or well, hopefully the heat shrink will just fall off because it's not on there very well in the first place. Yeah, great. And then we just want to get those wires off. So I've got some solder somewhere. Get the iron tinned. Oop. So, we don't know how the motor's going to work. So, let's get this ESC wired up. Now, I always forget which way these go, so I'm going to double check. Uh, flat wire to positive. There we go, that's one. Okay, great, so we'll double check that polarity when we throw it onto a battery. Um, so one of the first things to do is just let that cool. So I am just going to grab a 
storage mode battery, so I'm not putting the full 12 volts through it yet. We are just going to check. We're going to do this at a distance and just plug it in and make sure that none of the wires are touching each other and just make sure nothing explodes. Right, that's a good start. Right, there we go. So we're connected now and we're reading five volts. So I'm happy with that. Turn that off and turn this off. 